hope we find something good in there. Well, not impossible, but don't count on it. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around. Why is he coming up here? No idea. We should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. I'll distract him so you can sneak up behind him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Just a kid! Please, don't hurt me! Who are you? I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially... Malinka Devochka. A little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns! I... Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No! You are not nice people! You have already left me defenseless, and now you... You take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it! Clementine, we need people that stuff! People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special! Clementine, yes, you must We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick... I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You will fish. You hadn't done this. <laughs> no, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Taking some stupid kid's stuff. Like a bandit. I thought you were gonna shoot him. Why? 
Did you want me to? Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened, then we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm not sure we can trust her. She doesn't trust us. Not like we trust each other. It seemed like she would have left Sarah. Yeah, but we didn't, and we won't. So long as we don't have somebody marching us in the wrong direction. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But... When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Alvin was a good man. He was nice to me. And always looked out for everyone. That man had one of the biggest hearts of anybody I've ever met. I should have told him that more often. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? We'll all help you keep the baby safe. Oh, yeah? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while. And I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine.
Hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? I know Jane seems like she doesn't care about anyone, but I trust her. She's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, that's good. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Empty. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. Sure been some Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh... We can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Lee would have loved this place. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true. Nothing but junk in there. Trust me. Over here. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. <sighs> I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from... Well, 
Well, that happened. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. That looks pretty heavy. Ah, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Over here! the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. Shit! Shit! Oh, God! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Stop! Oh. Clem! Clementine! Shit! Walkers! How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? The hell's Luke? Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Oh, God, there's so many. We uh, uh, gotta get out of here. Mike, the water. On it. Sarah, let's go. Okay. He's losing it. I mean, that. That is. Him. He's doing it to protect us. Sure. Kenny! Damn it! 